Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel Yo, tech lead and partner at Westfall. And today I got some really exciting news, really ground shaking stuff from the world of tech. Uh, I know last week we didn't say about sliced bread, but today I got the sliced bread, jam, peanut butter, and the whole lot. What I'm talking about, I'm talking about for those people out there, Vue.js Vite, V I T E. This is the game changer that's gonna put Vue.js, the framework that I am, you know, shamelessly a huge uh, supporter of, right up into the sky. Now, what is Vite? Vite is a no webpack um, collection of Vue.js that will allow you to create a SPA, a single page application, and put all that wonderful jazz in that in, into your application. And the whole idea of Vue.js, right, coming out with this idea of kicking out Webpack is absolutely genius. And the story is so fantastic. I'll put it up right down here. Stuff of legends, the kind of stuff where Evan Yu is about to go to bed and suddenly he has this idea about, you know, he's got this, something is calling to him to say, kick Webpack out. And then again, stuff of legends, six, seven hours later, he hacks it, good old fashioned coding of concept in the morning. But guys, let me explain to you why this is so exciting. The first thing is about getting rid of Webpack. Webpack to me, I hated Webpack from the beginning. I don't like tools that compile my code. I hate compiling. And Webpack is has been this necessary evil, as they said, because the browsers weren't compliant. And it was, um, I was actually more of the browserify gang. Along comes Webpack, and let me give you the points on why Webpack is such a bad thing. The first point on Webpack is that it is this idea of comp continuously compiling every time. Now you start up, you know, maybe it takes one or two seconds, but when you get some of these things like Nux and stuff like that, right? So that's compiling over eight seconds, 10 seconds, and you got to keep it updated NPM uh, with the compiling for the Webpack. The second thing is the settings, the configurations are ridiculous for Webpack, you know? People putting in this stuff, some stuff looks like it's Chinese. Yeah, I actually speak Chinese. Maybe it's Greek, okay? but uh, it's ridiculous the amount of configuration that people are doing. They're going off tangent, uh, off tangent. And the third thing, right, is people don't understand Webpack. I mean, I teach Vue.js 101 and 102, right? And I can tell you, we go from you know components and making components suddenly into this magical box that spits out a uh, spa, and uh, no one really knows how everything's happening in there. It's a recipe for disaster. Now, I love this idea. The community secretly you know, mumbling in the dark has been calling out for this. A complete shift away from Angular or the way that React is working into something very light. Um, and what's so great about this is number one, Vite uses the ES6 modules, so brand new browsers can use them. You won't see any compiling. Uh, the compiling is actually done um, on demand. So the, the application is doing that compiling. It's got some of your favorite uh, requirements. Like I was looking at building a, a SPA without Webpack, just using imports. And one of the problems was um, the uh, using your IDE because you had to display, you had to put them in web component format and that was a real pain. Your IDE didn't quite work. You had to string your entire template. This is not happening at Vite. You can use the view uh, name the file and still keep that nice format of template, code, and CSS. That's really exciting. And all this stuff is happening, right? This news is 14 to 15 days uh, old. If you're watching my video, right, and the day that it comes out, this is only two weeks old. So very exciting news of this stuff. Not only that, right, but I was the host at the Acronis Vue.js meetup that just happened a couple of days ago, two days ago. That's me over there. And uh, Aaron, 
one of the uh, our contributors was featuring this Vue.js uh, Vite development. And let me tell you, we were all very excited about this kind of stuff. So I'll tell you, watch this space, Vue.js Vite 2020, we are back again. And that's the bottom line because the tech needs it.